What up? Devin. What's up, buddy? What's up, man? What's up, man? How's it going? How's it going? So who had the Harley problems? Huh? How's you? We got degreaser and engine oil on the way for you. Hey! Oh, you're the fucking man. Just saying we got to get you on one of these real quick. Oh, on the Grom? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. You knew it was going to happen. <laughs> Somebody hold my beer. <laughs> It's okay, I've dropped it a few times. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> you see the smile on his face? <laughs> You should try and ride it. No, I don't want to. Have you ridden one? No. You got to ride it. Oh, yeah, I always want to. <laughs> Badass. We'll slow mo that part. Remember the days when I was a young kid growing up. And try it out. Try it out. I'll hold your beer. Well, hey, nice purse, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Can we cut out the part where I say, do a stunt? <laughs> do a stoppy. Do a stunt, baby. Man. Hey, what's up, man? Thanks. Is yeah, your first time here? Right. Awesome, man. Well, you're in a video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what'd you think? You want one now, right? 125 cc's of raw power. Gonna tell you, go into Ace Cafe here, get some food, get some drinks. Two hours later. What's up, blockheads? We are leaving Ace Cafe, hanging out with Shade Tree Surgeon. Oh, what's up, Reese? Buddy. Subject for the video today is going to be something quite different and it's actually going to be calling on you guys. It's kind of like a uh, like a social experiment. This is something that I've been doing for a while and uh, a lot of you guys I think have noticed it like on the channel. Uh, a lot of you guys have, oh my god, it's so bright. A lot of you guys have talked about, you know, the positivity of the channel, how the episodes are always really positive and that's because I surround myself with positive people. I also don't like tune in to the news and I'm, I'm going to kind of explain my reasoning behind that. I'm a believer in like my personal network. The network that I make is what matters to me, right? And so the people that influence me, the people that impact me with whatever the decisions are, my friends, my family, those are the people that matter to me. I mean, that, that should be obvious. And the people that I choose to associate with, I want them to be positive, right? They say that you are like the five people that you surround yourself with the most. And I choose to surround myself with people that are positive, you know, people that are like kind of understand my humor, you know, like there's times that I'm weird, but you know, maybe they can understand and appreciate that. I think I sunburned my eyes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That exhaust is ear piercing, man. A little bit. <laughs> little baby. <laughs> Reese trying to wheelie the little rider. The little rider is. That was a good looking bike. See, this is what I'm talking about. Reese, he's a positive guy. Usually always has a smile on his face. He's a great dude. <laughs> Jesus. That rear tire will not lock up. <laughs> It's just so much power on that bike, it's crazy. But yeah, an example, Reese, you know, he's having a good time, man. He's a positive person. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> Despite today being like a really long day, you know, I am tired, I am beat, I am ready to go home. I am sunburned. It has been a hell of a long day. I've still got a smile on my face at the end of the day because of the people that I choose to surround myself with. You know, being up at Standard and, you know, saying what up to everybody there. You know, hanging out with Shade Tree, you know, and talking with him and Jess and they're positive people. You know, Reese is a positive person. Miss Blockhead, she's freaking hilarious. She, she's awesome, man. She's the most, like, positive, enthusiastic, you know, see the silver lining kind of person that I know. I'm lucky to have her. And then when it comes to watching the news, so I used to watch the news, I mean, quite a bit. Um, one of the places that I worked, they always had the news on. And one of the things that I noticed is that whenever I would watch the news, I would always like have some kind of 
like anxiety slash nervousness because they always make you feel like something's about to happen like somebody's after you or this terrible thing is happening you know what is that saying if it bleeds it leads like oh my god there is so much truth to that even just like okay watching the the national news you know like nationwide coverage of whatever it's just always terrible man it's very rare that there is positive news out there there was one is that whenever we're still on Facebook hey man we're getting deep here because I don't have Facebook even anymore deleted that did away with that because it was another source of negativity but whenever I had Facebook I used to actually follow this page and they would only post positive news until they started suddenly posting political stuff and it's like dude I'm done unfollowed the page you know unsubscribed or whatever so I basically came to the realization that watching the news man it's like it was programming my brain to like be afraid to be like looking out like somebody was trying to get me you know like oil prices or the economy or you know whatever and I mean I'm not downplaying that at all like sure that does impact my life but not to the extent that the people immediately around me do obviously if like we didn't have oil <laughs> it would have a motovlog electricity like it would impact a certain like a ton of stuff but that's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about the news that they're like yeah this person died recently in this area because of a gunman or this store got robbed you know or this happened to this kid you know has cancer or you know this child was basically stolen and there's a there's an amber alert or an elderly person something happened it's always like terrible bad news man and i just felt like to the point where i was over it there was this one news channel that like i said where i work they always had like alert thing at the bottom where it was like breaking news or like red alert or whatever the hell thing that they use on that little bottom bar and so i noticed like every like that is what draws your attention you know it's like the big like you know alert and there's like something scrolling across it with some news it's like shocking you know alert russia doing this and i'm like oh my god you know russia world power what do i need to do just in case it's like dude it makes you it infects your brain it like reprograms your brain to worry and so i stopped watching the news man couldn't do it anymore and there's gonna be probably a lot of you guys out there that really disagree with this episode and what i'm doing but i think it's all up to you know the person's personal preference or you know opinion if they don't obviously if they don't want to watch it they don't have to watch it my take is if there's something so important out there that i need to know about it's gonna reach me i'm going to see it one way or the other you know like hurricanes <laughs> i don't watch the weather but you know what if a hurricane's coming i damn well know that there's a hurricane coming and that's obviously something that's very important it impacts me you know it impacts my life it impacts those people around me <laughs> but yeah man if it's important enough like it's going to reach me it's going to get back to me i'm going to hear about it somehow through you know a loved one if it directly impacts me through a friend or whatever but i don't watch the news and facebook got the same way facebook became this whole thing of like the advertisements just kept on and kept on and kept on getting worse and worse and worse originally i had facebook to keep in touch with friends and family and then even after i like really went through and trimmed a lot of my facebook stuff out you know i deleted like a ton of people that like i thought were negative it still was a lot of advertisement and then it came to like the elections and dude i saw friendships just get ruined over that stuff you know this political just nonsense people going back and forth and holding so strong to their opinion that they're ending friendships you know that have lasted years you know like some of these people that i knew that would get back and go back and forth and say things that you can't unsay kind of stuff over who is going to be the next president dude how does that affect you and that person it doesn't man like you can have your opinion but you don't have to attack people like you know some of these people were and so i was just like you know what man i'm super done with facebook you know i was never on it never using it anyways it was like becoming super negative and i did away with facebook too so i don't watch the news i don't have facebook i do this moto vlog you guys say it's positive it's because i try to be positive it's like just the personality and it's because i don't have all of these negative things going into basically being processed by me you know i was watching this one thing and it was talking about how the news basically like reprograms your brain 
and I'm not I'm not talking about it in terms of like you know wearing a metal hat kind of thing but like just uh, your everyday like mannerisms like how you feel you know it elevates your stress levels and all that stuff and so like I, I'd stopped watching the news way before then but what I'm wanting you guys to do is I'm, I'm wanting to kind of do like a little experiment here I want you guys to post and share with the blockhead community something positive so like something something that you find positive share it down in the comments below it could be something like you just found out that your wife is pregnant or you know if you've got kids you know your kid just took their first steps or got a good grade on their test uh, you and your girlfriend just got engaged you know something just like cool and positive like even if it's a little thing like today met up with friends we rode to Ace Cafe we participated in the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride, which is an awesome, really positive cause, you know, raising uh, awareness. It's a charity for uh, basically prostate cancer, men's health, men's mental health. It's just a really good cause. You know, you get to dress up, wear a button-up shirt, put on a tie, and uh, road motorcycles with a bunch of people. That's, I mean, to me, that's really positive and that's awesome. You know, I got Reese here beside me riding, you know, great friend, freaking making me laugh he's trying to do you know wheelies he's laying down a lot of rubber on this new tire that he's got talking about he needs to like take some pressure out of it you know and then meeting up with shade tree surgeon just like chilling hanging out at a bar having a drink you know talking about like some future ideas like we've got some really cool future ideas and uh <laughs> he's saying that he probably won't do a couple of them but i'm gonna really push him to do some of them so uh there's a lot of possibility for some collaborations there, so I'm gonna really push them in. So dude, like think of everything today, just today. Those are all some really positive things that happened today. And that's because that's the way I choose, like those are the people I choose to associate with. I choose to like go after these opportunities. And you guys can all do that too, man. Like y'all can, anybody can do what I'm doing right now and have that positivity in their life. Scoop. What? Scoop. <laughs> Japan for Japan for Japan for I'm just saying Japan for it's weird Japan for dude <laughs> it's right there Japan for Japan for Japan for dude <laughs> oh it's okay I'm here with the bag Bag. The, the bag for the uh, eels. What? So the badger. For the badger. What? It's for the shanshin right there. It's for the shanshin. What are you talking about? about? Japan. Are you for. here for delivery? J Japan for. Japan for. Oh. Japan for. What? Shanshin. Japan for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. You gotta give me a handicap, dude. My cigar is still there. Hey man, you want an Indian cigar? It's free. Still in the wrapper. I don't smoke cigars, so. All right. Yeah, so I, I'm gonna be back here so I can get more speed. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're going down, sucker. unfair as hell <laughs> I had that hella handicap anyways like I said you guys post up something positive down in the comments below share with me share with the blockhead community something positive you know something that's happened in your life recently you know something that might be unfolding something that you're working towards you know let's make this a really positive you know episode or like something to, to really feed you know the positivity you know like if you just got a motorcycle or you know if you just like met some new friends or something like that whatever it is share it with us let us know so i hope you guys have enjoyed the episode if you did be sure to hit that like button if you're not subscribed already hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon as well so it sends you notifications for future uploads and activity if you guys uh, have friends out there that enjoy this content be sure to hit the share button as well until next time you guys ride safe out there stay vigilant stay positive catch you guys later deuces dude that was a long one look at that
Hey man, I'm out of here. I'll catch you later, brother. Hey man, bro. Yeah, thanks for riding with me, man. Let me know when you get back. Nice.